so what happens the the thing is inevitably fatal inevitably the person touches and he dies that is the kind of induced emf we are talking about and that is why we are first of all discussing even a concept like that though in the scenario of domestic appliances these are small still still there is a possibility that you'll get a shock and a big one so we can't take a magnet in there huh what if we take a magnet in there here uh. what do you do that what will happen with that the magnetic field is produced from that too so what did they did that attracted to the wire no actually what happens these are acs <laughs> so they have got a big fluctuating field right so 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 it becomes north south north south north south so so it's an alternating field fine so so a magnet is not able to respond before it moves in that direction it has to move in this direction so normally magnets do not respond to a very high fluctuating high high frequency fluctuating fluctuating fields and 50 hertz is quite a high quite a high frequency so to uh, repair these you have to switch off both of them no then what we do what do we do you have to earth this you have to earth it hmm and the earthing has to be very 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 proper if there is a fault in earthing then there'll be another shock he'll get another shock and these shocks are not like that that ah no it's kind of gone okay that is the last first and the last gone and there are fatalities occurring in the railways due to this shock okay many a time they they are aware but they'll they'll put an earthing rod there the an earthing rod there and what happens suddenly the earthing itself those rods you know they are daily used rods right they are not kept in ac rooms they have to be carried they are, they are thrown they are they are put on the ballast the stone chips on which the railway lines are present so what happens they gradually get cut and due to that due to that even though it is connected even though it is connected it is not connected okay and you get a shock so so we understand this concept that even when there is no voltage applied to this it can develop dangerously high voltages and we should be in a condition to know that it is imperative that i know that otherwise i'll not be able to handle understand though though calculating it in the scenario of a railway line which may be travels on and on for 1500 kilometers that becomes a difficult job to do with obviously varying distances between them at points and varying currents being carried by these circuits when there are 2 3 4 5 trains what happens what happens the current drawn becomes more so the flux induced in the in the neighboring circuit also becomes more when the when there is no train there is hardly any current that is being drawn except for the 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 current that transmission line even otherwise keeps on taking up that you'll understand later due to the capacitive things and so so some some minute amount of current so 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 it becomes really a difficult task to to calculate it still it can be calculated and the fundamental again remains the same d phi upon dt that's all when both of them are on so won't they interfere with each other no they do but fine that is tolerable kind of they 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 are bound to yes they will they do okay they do interfere with each other they have to fine now what happens we would like to we would like to calculate we would like to calculate that now try to understand this the flux linked by the flux linked by one circuit due to 
current in the other circuit okay the flux linked by one circuit due to current in the other circuit will depend on certain factors depends on number 1 obviously the the physical orientation of the circuits is it not what do you mean to say if, if there is a flux being produced by this coil and and this coil has its plane parallel to it then it will link the maximum flux okay understand if i if i turn this turn this coil like this it links no flux why why because the area vector becomes perpendicular so obviously it has to depend on the orientation orientation how we are oriented okay number of turns in both the circuits is it not so suppose suppose the the flux is very high and i have only one turn so i will be linking a very small amount of flux with a small area so that is hardly going to affect me at all but if i have maybe say 10000 turns the voltage becomes 10000 times that and it may become substantial also the permeability of the medium Perme permeability of the medium mu r right the relative permeability okay now uh, uh, one thing i talked about was fatality of the uh, the fatality of the human beings see there are small circuits okay there are circuits small circuits which can get triggered by by a very small amount of current hmm? for example you enter an lpg premise you know what happens you are supposed to put your phone with the security why you switch your phone on on and some induced emf somewhere causes a small spark and there'll be a there'll be an explosion a huge explosion understand there'll be a huge explosion so the petroleum companies they'll never allow you to use your phones right petrol pumps you should never use your phone there you will find so many videos where the fellow just picked up the phone and there was an explosion it's not about always but when it happens it is it is of such ferocity such 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 intensity that you have to avoid it there are things which you simply cannot tolerate right so what happens he has kept his nozzle just like that and a small voltage here may induce a spark and if you are kind of your your uh, your fuel pump fuel fuel tank was empty then there is a lot of vapor in that you know so much so that if they open it there'll be there'll be a noise like that if you are running on say less than half tank hmm and that spark so so that vapor is actually vapor right that spark can trigger that vapor okay it can light up that vapor and there will be a big explosion in the tank of the of the vehicle itself we do not realize these things now now all these things have to be simultaneously matching for an accident to occur right that the nozzle is just just kind of a uh, half a millimeter there and and the vehicle should have some vapor inside the tank and the fellow should be picking up the mobile just at that moment but when it happens 
it happen, right? So that's why th there are boards which we very gallantly ignore, but but these are the dangers. So so and that is the trouble. A, a mobile here, okay, has got an electromagnetic. It, it is an electromagnetic wave which has got a magnetic field which which can cause a voltage here, however small. Okay, but when a when a spark can light up the whole thing, then then that spark is enough to cause an explosion, and and more so when you are when you are into an LPG facility, right? The gas that we use for our domestic purposes that that has got this chaos. Any spark anywhere, it'll simply bring it down. The whole thing along with it maybe some. 20% of the town where it is situated, okay? Because when it explodes, it is a bomb, right? So you must have heard that a small, uh, if, 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 if you find some leakage in your house of the LPG, you should not switch it on or off. If it is on, let it be. If it is off, let it be. Fine, why? Because just when the switch is making or breaking a contact, there is a small spark and that spark is enough to light like the gas, fine? So, so that becomes very important and that's why we are focusing our attention to this. Now what happens, let us try to understand. A current, say, now let us name these circuits. Let this circuit be circuit number A, circuit number B, circuit number C, okay? Now a current IB in this circuit will cause some flux to be linked by this circuit, A circuit, right? And obviously that will depend on the orientation, the proximity, number of turns, everything, fine? But it will it'll cause some flux to be linked by this circuit, right? Let us, let us call, okay, let a current IB in circuit B cause a magnetic field, cause a magnetic flux <coughs> phi A to be linked by circuit by by one turn of circuit A. Of circuit A. One turn. Okay. So N turns in circuit A. will have flux will have flux linked okay when we when we come to the total amount of flux linked due to all the turns there is a specific name and symbol given to it fine equal to n phi a, right, this is n phi a, this is called flux linkage, this is called flux linkage and though we have not used that in this book, it is denoted by psi. Okay, all standard books, they'll use this. So you understand, you understand after we use this, we do not use the, the law of electromagnetic induction as minus n d phi by dt. What do we use it as? We say it is E is equal to minus d psi by dt, straight away, fine? The total flux linked 
has got a specific name flux linkage mm -hmm. it, it, it's not a generic name okay it is a specific name flux linkage and it is denoted by this symbol in our book they do not use this symbol but they do define this term so flux linkage is nothing but the total flux fine it is the total flux fine now what will be the total flux now in phi a will obviously be directly proportional to the current here correct it will be directly proportional to the current in the circuit what do i mean to say whatever be the current and whatever is the flux linkage if i double the current the flux link will be double why because the magnetic field that is being produced is itself directly proportional to to i at any distance how do i know that by its over mu not i dl cross r is it not db is mu not i dl cross r upon r cube or if it is r cap it is r square so it is directly proportional to i the field that's why i have written this correct correct now as this vanishes what i get is called the 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 constant of proportionality that comes in is what is called mutual inductance is called this is called mutual inductance understand obviously obviously this has to depend on this has to depend on the orientations the proximity the number of turns everything fine but once you have fixed things you have fixed the orientation you have fixed the number of turns then this becomes a constant you understand so so my coils are my two coils are like this they are like this okay so so their planes are parallel and this is the distance there will be some m now if i turn it like that or like this immediately this m will change because the flux linked will change and i have to i have to i have to do what what is this m you know what is this m this is a transfer mechanism from where to where it takes the it takes the current of this circuit it multiplies it with mutual inductance and you immediately get a flux in this circuit at this point you understand so this is a transformer this suddenly transforms the current into flux because i am interested in flux okay now this is a comp this may be a complicated thing to calculate so what i do i calculate it once and for all and every time i require a flux out here i just multiply my current here with that m and i get a flux here you get the point so inductance is a flux transformer it takes input as what current and it gives output as flux that way it is a function okay and why are we using it because the desired quantity the flux linked is obtained by simply multiplying the the current by mutual inductance 